Heather says, I'm thinking of leading a small group, three to four people. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to say, it doesn't have to be a small group. And I think you should challenge yourself for 10. Okay. So if you're going to do three to four, you actually can do 10, even if it's super hands-on, even if you feel like you're not, you will be able to give them the attention that they need. And there's no need to set your goal small just because this is a test or a beta. Okay. okay. So first of all, I would like to just challenge you there to say, not a small group, let's say 10 people. Um, that teaches people how to put the foundation in place before creating messaging and content. Okay, first of all, let's think about, I want you to tell me in a moment when I quit reading your question, what your actual promise is, okay? And if that is it, if that, if that, is that your headline? Like, is that, the, is that the promise? Is that the takeaway? So be thinking about that. Essentially, it would be a live training, one hour a week for five weeks covering goals, brand story, audience, company voice, and content creation. I currently have a small list, list about 100 people. I'd love your suggestions on how to promote it and your thoughts regarding a beta group at a discounted rate. Okay. So first, let's start with that promise. What is your promise, Heather? Yeah. So my promise, I guess, which I'm still kind of working out, is is that they will have what they need to create effective messaging because i think sometimes people just start right they just start like way down here and they forget the important foundational blocks like who are they talking to what is their tone of voice things like that okay so the only thing i want you to be really super mindful here is that mm. that's not sexy that right. sounds like work to me and drudgery and it feels like brushing my teeth okay and Got it's it. like it feels like being told to floss Okay. And I don't want, that's not what I, that's, that doesn't excite me and it's not going to excite your audience. So this is the perfect example of you giving them what they need. They need this. They a hundred percent need this, but you don't bring them in with this because the promise has to be what's tangible. Like what are they walking away with? So they aren't walking away with being ready um, to do what's coming next. They should be, so, you know, like it would be like, you know, at the end of this program, mm -hmm. you will be, um, you will have a, uh, you know, your brand launched, your messaging launched. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't actually know what the promise is, but it has to be extremely tangible, real. And, and, and also don't doubt for a second that you can give them that because you know that if they do the things that you're going to show them, about their goals, their brand story, how to mm -hmm. find their audience, how to create their customer voice, how to create content, you know that they're rock solid. So be super bold. It like think hard on what that really super juicy, sexy promise is. Okay. Okay. And in that promise also needs to be a, um, a dazzling, like, you know, um, whether it's going to be easy, simple, they're going to get it done in only five weeks, mm -hmm. you know, those words that it's going to be, you know, people want to see that it's not going to take forever at the end of it, they're going to have this. So all that should sort of be in the, in the promise. I think I gave the example last strategy call of, I can, I got to figure out her name if I'm going to use this example again, <laughs> but she has empire in a weekend, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and then you think about, um, iPod, 10,000 songs in your pocket tells yeah. you exactly what, you know, when they came out with that. So, um, you know, putting in the promise, like exactly what it is and that it's going to be quick and it's going to be easy and whatever it is, mm -hmm. but really fatten that offer up. Okay. Okay. So people are excited. Um, how you give it one hour, five, you know, yep. for five, I, that that's up to you. And that just has to work for you and make sense to you. And then as far as your email list, um, mm -hmm. there is no better way. And I, I did this little chart for you. Um, it's very simple, you know, but because it's simple does not mean that this is not like a beast marketing plan. Like this works. This is so effective, but it's really important that you execute. So, um, <laughs> Is especially for this, this pilot program that you're putting together, mm -hmm. this is what it looks like. So we, we've got the promise up there at the top. Yeah. Then you're going to have your landing page created with mm -hmm. the basic information when it happened, like all the details, the price, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But then you're going to go and a hundred people on your email list. That's awesome. But you're not going to start with your email list because okay. you live stream regularly. So you're going to start with your 
um, your Facebook people, your social media people, and you're going to reach out to them via messenger loom video, or maybe you do a loom video and you reach out to them on messenger. You do an audio that we talk about a lot here on the strategy mm -hmm. calls, yep. right? And you're going to audio message them and say, Hey, Sally, um, just want to let you know, I've got this awesome new program. I'm so excited about it. Basically at the end of it, you're going to have a blankety blank and, um, you know, it's, I'm only opening it to 10 people and I haven't announced it to my, my audience at large, mm -hmm. but I thought this could really help you with your flower business. So, um, you know, if you would just let, if you want more information, just let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You see the little clock there though is very important because they're going to message you back and go, sure, I'd love to know more. Then you're going to plop in the link to that landing page. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to say this. Okay. Well, here, here it is. If you have any questions, let me know. But Hey, if you could do me a favor and let me know by Monday, like you, you pick the date by mm -hmm. Monday at like three o'clock, just let me know one way or the other. Cause I'd like to open, I'm going to be opening this up to my whole list. Okay. Okay. And then, um, and it really works so well, but it is very awkward when you first get going because it's like a new offer mm -hmm. and it takes a fair amount of courage to do it that first time. But what you'll see is like, you'll get your sea legs much mm -hmm. faster than you think, especially if you give yourself like, all right, I'm going to contact these five people mm -hmm. and maybe people you already feel kind of comfortable with and you know their business really super well, you reach out to them by the time you get to number six and they're a little more cold and you don't know them well, you've already got your rhythm. But the key is to like, keep going okay. and remember with every no you get, that gets you closer to your yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's just a fact. The other fact <laughs> is that this is a game, not a game. This is a, um, a situation of probability. So the more people we put our offer in front of, mm -hmm. the more we sell period dot end of story that you, there is no way to get around that. So, so we have to continue to present the offer to more and more people. Now, after that happens and you've reached out to the people you feel comfortable with mm -hmm. and, and some that you don't feel comfortable with. In fact, a number of them that you don't feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Then as promised, cause you know, you want to keep your, you know, this whole thing has to be like, in alignment, you have mm -hmm. to, you have to honor the, whatever deadlines you gave, then now you, you will send out to your hundred email people. Um, you probably at that point want to have an application because not everybody is going to be a fit for your, for mm -hmm. your, for this program, right? Okay. So you have a, a quick like Google form application. Um, and then you do the same thing all over social media, but I would not just limit it to three to four people and the price. So now to answer your question about price, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe you do want to make this like a no, a no brainer price at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Cause you are going to be, you know, testing out this, this program. You're going to be getting all these great testimonials out of it. Um, and case studies. So that's worth a lot. And you can say on your sales page. And I did this when I, um, when I've done a few of my betas, my little course, this was super successful. I launched my little course for $97. Um, and then I did front row CEO for four ninety seven the first time I launched it, but it was a it was an exchange, it was an understanding, and I said to the people mm -hmm. like you can have this at this ridiculous price. However, I will be expecting you to finish the course, to do an exit interview, and and to give an, a sincere review at the end. You know, negative mm -hmm. or positive, we need to get your feedback, and um and people really honored that, and it also it also really lets them know this is valuable. Even though you see a low price on this, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm testing it. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, but I would shoot for 10, not three or four. Okay. That's a great idea with how to position the beta. Yeah. And I, yeah, cause I, and, and, and I, and I know that you like, you want to give like, um, one-on-one -on -one support and you're going to be working with them on their individual businesses, but it's very easy in a group setting to lay out a framework. Once you get that many people like to make it work for everyone and you don't have to let that be so, like, um, that does, that shouldn't be an obstacle or a hurdle. Mm 